But to be fair, X Factor is kind of pretty much like American Idol. With, and I say that because of the auditions. <laughs> if you've seen the auditions for either show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll have the worst people on there, but then you'll have the people that will shine. And the people that will shine it will, was really shocking. But I'll get to that in a little bit. Back to this bullshit, that Khloe Kardashian wants to get work, to work with the X Factor. Now, provided uh, the people that, the judges don't have to sign off, that, that's Fox's deal, and uh, depending on when that does get signed, the, a Kardashian might actually have a job for once. They might wonder how the fuck to do an alarm clock. They might figure out how to drive themselves, maybe not worry on a driver. Maybe actually earn your own money and not pretend to be one of the most ridiculous things, again, like Jersey Shore. And I, I apologize to any juice head or retard that likes Jersey Shore and likes the fist pumping bullshit. And I'm not even going to do it right because it just, I'd probably punch the fucking camera. <laughs> That's how bad I hate it. But to the point where they'll be like, uh, and I, I don't probably won't give the voice justice, but it's like, uh, Kim will be over there in the bed and be like, they hear this beeping noise of the fucking alarm clock for Chloe, and it's like, oh my god, what's that noise? Is that is that the is that the microwave? Is the fucking is the fucking French fries ready? What is that noise? Just stop it! Oh my fucking god! To be fair though, Kim Kardashian has a nice ass, and that's the only thing that's saving her at this point because that would be a lot worse. But really, what the fuck is wrong with America? What, is the, what the fuck's wrong with the world at this point? You have Khloe Kardashian working. I think that's not a bad thing. But then you go to where you have Michael Jackson's daughter. I, I believe her name is Prince. Or not Prince, but uh, Paris. Paris. And she's, she's sad about being mo bullied at school. Granted... Michael Jackson had a lot of shit that we're not going to talk about, especially with the, um, you know, alleged kid things, with the fucking Jesus juice and all this bullshit. So the kids that, that mistreat her have a lot of material to begin with, but Michael Jackson is pretty much one of the greatest musical artists of all time, regardless of what happened and regardless of who's guilty and who's not guilty and if this is even relevant in 2012. But what shocks me more is Paris should be, you're a fucking Jackson. You should be famous by now. You should be driving your own fucking Mercedes while moonwalking on the goddamn thing. I don't even know what is wrong with this picture. That, yes, you're getting bullied and bullies a bad, being bullied is a bad thing. But, um, get over it. I mean, people made more fun of Michael Jackson's nose than her daughter. M made fun of how he was a nigga to being a white dude. And granted, that was that was from skip skip pimics and all that bullshit, and uh, and that's a different thing. To where the point instead of like you're being a pale motherfucker and being a ginger at the same time, that's another story for another time. The point of this is you have enough money to fucking buy the school. You have enough money to fucking buy it, make it your own, get rid of the kids you don't like, and keep the kids you do like. And with that being said, I'm just surprised that people are bullying her, and I'm surprised there's no bo there's no bodyguards or anything controlling this, or making sure they punch a fucking kid in the gut and just throw them at a wall or something every time they fucking piss off her Paris. I don't know, but really, <laughs> you're you're worried that you're getting bullied. Middle school. I'm just going to say this for any kid that's watching this, and I, I'm surprised you are watching this and your parents are allowing you to, but um, middle school is probably one of the worst experiences of your life. And I don't believe, Paris, I think she is probably part of in middle school, technically, a little bit, first few years at least. But you're going to get bullied in middle school. Middle school is horrible, and high school is even worse depending on which school you went to. So get used to that. At the same time, though, you're fuck. You're fucking Michael Jackson's daughter, or or granddaughter, or whatever the fuck. You need to learn 
to be strong. You need to learn to get that shit off your back. Because yes, the anger is going to boil out and when it does, you're going to fucking punch a wall or just destroy somebody and just moonwalk on their face, destroy them. At the same time, why do I care? Well, a lot of people were bullied back then. And I was one of them. And, you know, obviously people, people would probably agree with why I was. But at the end of the day, celebrity or not, kid or not, adult, old man, whatever, you don't deserve to be bullied. Stay strong. And thank God that she'll learn from this. She'll get stronger as it goes along. It's just sad to me that we see shit like this go on. And uh, at the end of the day, I don't even know why I'm talking about it, but it, it caught my eye last night, and I'm like, really? You're, you're worried about getting bullied? Speaking of bullies... With the X Factor being last night a two-hour premiere, and it was brilliant, if I do say so myself. Um, again, what is wrong with our world? You had a guy in a fucking wedding outfit, and at first I was laughing at the guy, but then um, he blew my mind a little bit, and not in the way that San Francisco would want to be blown. And yes, I went there. He was in fucking San Francisco. It. it it's it's easy targets right there. Just shoot at shoot an arrow right there. But really Mind was blown. The guy can sing for what he was dressed up as, and he actually looked like a like a Lady Gaga. Let me see let me see the best way I can explain this. If Lady Gaga, Dracula, and some other motherfucker had a kid, this would be this motherfucker. <laughs> Or, and, and throw Cisco in there for the lulls. I don't fucking care. But, why? I know you're getting on TV, but why? You got through, thank God you did, because if you didn't have that voice, they wouldn't have taken you. That, that's, it's just publicity at this point. They're trying to get their name out there, and I understand that. But at the end of the day, you don't need to do that shit. It's like American Idol all over again, except these are the additions to fucking boot camp. Someone's going to get destroyed. And I'm going to love watching it. Especially with the X Factor being tonight. So we'll see even more bullshit go down. And uh, one last note. With the whole... And yes, this is go full circle, but fuck you. If, if you if you survive this long, thank you. I don't mean fuck you, but seriously. If, if you're complaining, fuck you. But to the point of... Belt spring bought, brought back to the WWE. They're saying that they're going to have a new belt brought out. They're going to have a new everything at this point. Why not? It, it makes me wonder. If The Rock somehow wins, will we see a return of the Brahma Bull belt? I mean, they, they had a thing of like uh, of rare custom belts that uh, champions have worn, like, uh, like Stone Cold, like Lay Cool. Uh, like the Million Dollar Championship, like the Internet Championship, like the Brown Bull Belt, and I think Undertaker had one, but it was a kid's version uh, for the little kids, and it was it could have been a belt, to be honest. But uh, that'd be interesting, and that would make total sense if CM Punk held the belt this long to the Royal Rumble to have The Rock win it and bring back the Brown Bull Belt. Or at least bring back the Undisputed title. Not this 50 billion pound piece of shit they're making. This should have been sold a long time ago. And at the end of the day, I don't understand why. But, you know, again, with this world being as fucked up as it is, I'm surprised anything makes sense anymore. Have a nice day.